hi subscribers and viewers i want to welcome you back to this wonderful channel welcome back to Obi channel this video i'm going to show you a trick in microtic um and this has got to do with power you know sometimes um we have issues with our dc um i mean this dc port or the dc adapter sometimes it gets blown up or it gets damaged and finding a replacement sometimes is difficult or um, it's a kind of luxury of time to get that replacement and so i found myself in similar situation recently and the only option i had in mind was this router is the hub ac light okay so i remembered the port one can be used to power this device on okay it, it is a poe in which means a poe enabled adapter can power this device on okay or a poe switch can power this device on provided it has the same um power volt okay and then um the last port which is the port 5 is able to power the, uh, a POE enabled device out okay so I'm going to show you example of how I deployed such um, plan on this device because I wasn't having a DC adapter but I wanted to power this device on be and be able to use it and so what I did was to use this POE adapter okay this poe adapter which is a ubiquity poe adapter which is 24 volt power adapter connected to the poe port here okay where the cable is connected to i connected to that poe and then i connected this other part other side of the cable to this first port and I got it powered on okay after that I was able to so in this case I had two options um, to you know pass internet through the same port by simply plugging internet on this port of the PoE adapter but then I wanted to have a direct um, cable connection from the modem to this router. And so I took the port 2 out of the bridge. Initially, it was part of the bridge, the land bridge. So it had a DSC. I made it a standalone port. And then I configured it as a DSCP client. Okay. To enable internet into this router and so um, in a GFI I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and then now uh, you will better understand how I came about this technique okay I know some folks know about this already those who don't know about this I think this is a good opportunity for you to um, learn about such a technique in microtech okay so let's delve into the kind of configuration i did after i did this kind of connection so as it stands now i don't have any dc connecting to this router which is giving me power but rather i have a poe adapter which is a ubiquity poe adapter powering this device on through its poe enabled port okay so please let's delve into the next um, thing I'm about to show you. So if you watch carefully, this is the connection I told you about. Okay. And so I have this powering on the router. This one is the DSCP client and this one powers on my um, nano station access point okay and so if you notice we have the red light turned on here
so at this point i need to open the wind box and launch it wind box is the um, proprietary app of microtech and this is used to configure the microtech router board okay it's an app now that i've opened it i need to locate the port 2 which is part of the bridge and then take it out of the bridge so that's what i'm currently doing whilst i do that i need to look out for the dscp client as well so now i need to take it off and now search for dscp client under ip yes and then i add the port 2 as my dscp client because that is the means by which i'm bringing internet into the microtech and i'm doing this without eight dns because i've assigned um a custom t dns for this network and so that's what i've currently done and so i'm trying to see if i have internet flowing into into the router and successfully internet is flowing through the router so basically this is how one can um, power microtech router without the use of dc power